everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California. Today I'm going to share with you how I make my, well I call them dots and some people call them buttons. I make these little hummingbird feeders. They're made out of these things. Let me show you what they are. Let's start with that. They are called souffle cups. And you buy, I got these at Smart and Final and they come 125, they're like two, three dollars a piece. This one is the lids. I don't know why they sell the lids. And, and cups separate but these are the lids and these are the cups and you get 125 you can get them at grocery stores sometimes and i've also seen them at dollar stores so you have to look around to see who sells the cups but they're clear cups and what they use them for i guess if you have takeout and a lot of you have takeout right now so it's a great way to repurpose that is they use them for your condiments like ketchup soy sauce mustard mayonnaise and then when you get them home, you've got this little container and it's got a lid on it and you use your condiments and then you throw them away? No, don't throw them away. Wash them up. They're food grade and you can make the cutest hummingbird feeders. I make these and I've got them all over the garden. I set them up in wire, little wire things I make and I, I use candlestick holders and all kinds of stuff. The hummingbirds love them. Yes, if your hummingbirds know you, you can put it on your hand and they will come to you with it. But I don't usually do that. I've done it a few times just for fun. Normally, I set them up. They're set up all over my deck. They're set up in the garden. They're set up out the window. Well, I've even got one in this hat and they're set up at my sister gave me this hat and said, can you make something out of it? it had her company name on it that she no longer works for. And, um, I said, let me see. So I made myself a hat and it holds, look at that. It holds one of these hummingbird feeders I made. See how I put it in? Well, we can talk about that another time if you're interested, but I made a holder for it and it holds a hummingbird feeder. These are so easy to make. All you need to do is the caps are either clear or they're white. You want to paint them red. Red is a color that hummingbirds gravitate towards. It's the first thing they check out. The second color they check out is yellow. So what would be really good, and follow them up painting a yellow flower on it. They look for that yellow flower and then they do look for a dot. So I tend to put a black dot in the center and this cap is gonna snap on here. Do not paint the inside and do not paint the inside of the cap. You're only gonna paint the outside. Use non-toxic paint. I've been, I bought this at Michael's, you can get it anywhere, and it says right on it, it's food safe and it's non-toxic, and that's what you want. But it doesn't matter really because they're not going to be feeding on it. I would still get non-toxic paint, but don't paint the inside. There's no reason to paint the inside. As far as the bottom, some of the bottoms are clear. Now, if you want to paint them, that's fine. See, some of them are white and some of them are clear. The bottom doesn't matter at all. It's the top. You want the top painted red, then paint a yellow flower. Now I have painted purple flowers and pink flowers and they're so used to them here that they will come to them. They know what they are. It doesn't matter what I paint on them. Even if I don't paint on them and just uh, use my soldering iron and make holes, they come to them now because they know what they are. But being that you'll probably be making them and they don't know what they are, you're gonna really want to paint them red and get a few with yellow flowers and put a dot. And then what you're going to do after they're all painted, you're going to take a hot knitting needle. I don't think you could use a drill on this. Use a hot knitting needle, hot nail, or I use my soldering iron. You all know how I use my soldering iron. And I make a nice clean hole. You want that hole to be smooth. So after you make the hole, use your fingers, rub on it, make sure the hole is really smooth. And that's all there is to it. Then at that point, all you're doing is making your hummingbird feed or food, which is a quarter of a cup of sugar to one cup of water. You mix that up and you put it in. From where you want to put it, you know, what you want to do with it is up to you. You can use candlestick holders. You can just set them out anywhere. There's all kinds of stuff we can do with it. I can show you. I've got a million and one ideas of how I use it and Adam's still making things. I've got a whole station here 
set up. I even decorated the outside and put a little hummingbird on there and a flower and see they've been drinking out of this. So they know what this is, my local hummingbirds. They see this and they know there's food in there and they check it out. They're so easy to make and most of you are gonna have these so it's gonna be free. When you have takeout, you double check and you know what, if you're at the restaurant or you're ordering food, ask them for a couple extras. They literally cost pennies and see if they've got any. And um, go ahead and make some hummingbird feeders and they last, I might have lasted for a couple years, but they don't cost much. So when they go bad, they go bad. That's it, so I wanted to share with you how I'm making. Look, I make them, I get them all painted and get them ready to use and do them all different ways. No, I don't have anything. <laughs> oh, he thought I had something. But um, they're fun to make. They're a great hummingbird feeder. You only have to use a small amount of food. So when you mix up your hummingbird food, which is a quarter of a cup of white granulated sugar to one cup of water, I've got the recipe all over on my you know, YouTube channel and you can find it easily there. Be sure to store what you're not using in the refrigerator and then the next day wash them out and add in some more and you're going to see they, they're going to be looking all over for them because I have made them on stands and everything and you just put them around especially if you're not feeding that many this is going to be really good for you because you can use a small amount of food instead of wasting so much food and just sit them around and then sit them separate so if you've got multiple hummingbirds this way they'll come to, to your, you know, one feeder they like and they'll guard this one feeder maybe and you can have another one somewhere else and they'll guard that feeder. And you won't have to worry about filling one big feeder and then having one hummingbird that's taking over everything. So I hope I've given you an idea on that. Ask questions. I love my buttons and dots. Been making them now for quite a while and I realized I hadn't shared them with you. So ask more questions so I can show you how I make all different types of buttons and dots and how I use them, including in a hat and how I've held them in my hand too. Have a great day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye! Oh, that's all I need are bumblebees. I don't think so. <laughs>